Hey, let it bash. It's the 24th of March, 2018. Um, I cannot get away from this uh, March for Our Lives thing. There's just too much in my spirit that doesn't sit right with it. I see this image this morning, and I, was, I wasn't going to look at this stuff today. I said my piece, but I just saw this image, and I, I noticed they have just the March and Lives in the blue. In my mind, just says Mars lives. This is their spirit. Whether there is a physical uh, manifestation of an event at this this rally here today, or whether it is just a spiritually based event, then so be it. But there is something absolutely brewing with this event today. There's just no way around it. The coverage and to the extent that they are pushing certain of these kids is just off the hook. It's just, there's no way around it. They are, when I say they, I mean these wicked, self-serving, Satan-worshipping, worldly people who are co-opting these kids and teaching them very early on how they can use manipulation to make their lives better however you want to look at it honestly i mean it's to me it's just a giant something that could be good co-opted to be used for the benefit of those who are so adept to deceiving and lying to the public for their own gain now that was a mouthful right but this is a fact this is this is what this is all about the main thing that brings me back to it, though, again, is this War of the Egyptian Firstborn. And I did a little more looking into it. And it's interesting because this particular Sabbath that we're on today, this one, talking about the War of the Egyptian Firstborn, right? If you read into this, it's quite interesting. I mean, there's a lot to it. And... It's it's really kind of, let me just tell you what, what I'm seeing here. We have these rallies going on. We have these kids, hundreds of thousands of these kids coming to the streets, right? All over the country. All They're just coming from everywhere. It's just an unbelievable thing, right? Well, this Sabbath, today, Shabbat Haggadah, inspecting the Passover lamb. Now, I don't know what to tell you, but my mind, you know, inspecting the Passover lamb. This is when they were required to obtain the Passover lamb to be used for the sacrifice at Passover. Okay, according to the Talmud, the exodus from Egypt occurred on Thursday, Nisan 15th, thus making the 10th of that month a Shabbat. That means today. This, it's on the 8th, or the, yeah, the 8th. Today. It was on this great Shabbat that the Lord commanded the families of Israel to obtain a lamb for sacrifice to bring it to their homes. This was to be Korban Pesach, the Passover lamb to be sacrificed on the 14th. Okay? It was on the great Shabbat. He commanded the families to obtain a lamb. And what is going on here? These dark powers and principalities, okay? are obtaining their lambs that's that's what i'm seeing in this as strange as that may sound that's what i see here this this is them obtaining their lambs and whether they do any type of sacrificial thing today i couldn't tell you there are a multitude of things that i look at with this okay just the sheer fact of where it's located the the times of day the day of the year it's all relevant i mean it really is there are just a myriad of things i could show you related to this that are just freaky weird it's the 20th anniversary today of a mass shooting back in 1998 and so they show us all the crying children this is very bizarre man i'm telling you Here's the school back in 1998, the very next day after the shooting. I want you to just look at this and tell me why, how this wouldn't, you know, trigger some 
some in-depth thought. If this is the hallway immediately following a mass shooting at a school in 1998, why do you think there are six, 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 six all over the ceiling with snowflakes? It's March 24th. What's the six for? And the snowflakes, this is in Arkansas. There ain't no snow. It's just a ridiculous thing. 19 years, 11 months earlier, 11 and 13 years old. These are the type of things that this is just one article. There are literally dozens, dozens. And the imagery, man, the imagery itself is quite, quite interesting, to be honest with you. You just look at some of the things that they're putting in front of us, you know, to illustrate the spiritual depth of this. Because that's what it is. This event is just a bunch of blind people people who just don't know behind the evil not good shepherds into slaughter essentially and i pray that that nothing happens today but i'll tell you man i am really not getting a good feeling at all about this whole event here i'm really not getting it so I share it with you and if any of you know anybody that's at one of these things or if you're going to one yourself please pray up pray the blood of Jesus before you do anything because uh, it's just here I guess that's all I can really say so Shabbat Shalom to y'all peace and grace many fish finally my brethren be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might, put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 